Father be thy name. Our Father which art in heaven, we know who he is. Hallowed, how holy is your name. So what is his name? The Howard, the son's name is the Howard Shepherd. Go ahead. It says thy kingdom come. Thy will so we be. We want the kingdom to come. Come down here. Go ahead. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. Go ahead. And earth is in heaven. So what's up there in heaven is in order. You don't got no gay parades up there in heaven, man. All right? We asking that the most I come down here and restore order, okay? Go ahead. You have no chemtrails up there. You don't got no chemtrails. No GMO food. <laughs> All the madness you got down here. Yeah, it says, give us this day our daily bread. Make sure we eat, okay? Make sure we have a roof over our head. You know, make sure we have clothes on our back, okay? It was said daily bread, bread just enough for the day. And because a lot of these guys, they'll go by like Nate. He goes by what he got. Oh, we got this school and that school. And we got this comment and his wife is bragging about we're going to have a... So with all that, you will make, you need money. So this, he's selling watches. He's selling watches, man. With Judah on it. Get the Judah, the Judah watch. Get the Benjamin t-shirt. And that goddamn t-shirt costs you like 25 with tax and everything. We were talking about 30, 35 dollars, man. Yeah. That's all about money. Where's that money going? Is he putting it in an envelope and doing this and it's going up to the most high? He living off of that shit, man. Yeah, like she came out one time on one Passover, was 2012. She had this white garment, a white garment with gold in it. And then she had a tambourine, there was other brothers, and she tam <laughs> smacking the tambourine and around yeah, other brothers, man. Gyrating. That's fucking wickedness, yeah, man. Yep. Gyrating and shaking the body, you know, hitting the tambourine. It says, and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So you can see that that prayer covers everything. Yeah. Go ahead. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Yeah. And we say that prayer. You know? So you would want to learn that prayer in the Hebrew, the ancient Hebrew. And he would say the prayer, you know, try to say it daily, you know? So you asked about how do you pray? Oh, well, that's the disciple. How do we pray? So yeah, how I said that's how you pray. That prayer covers everything, man. Right. I got a precept for you. Uh, uh, Philippians four and six. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto the heavenly Father. So if you're lacking, um, you feel you're lacking faith. Pray to Heavenly Father, give me more faith. Even, uh, I think it was Peter, he said to Yahushua, Lord, help my faith. When Peter was walking on the water and he started sinking, then he, he, he cried to Yahushua, Lord, help my faith. You know? There's certain demons, if you want to think of scripture, you can. Yeah. That in order, and Yahushua said that in order to, to uh, exercise this demon, you must, you must be able, you must, you have to fast and pray. That was a high level of demon, you know? Before you exercise that particular demon, you had to go on a fast and you had to do a lot of praying to get your spirit ready and your, and your mind, your being ready, okay? Because there was a point where Yahweh Shai showed the disciples how to, to uh, uh, exercise demons, and there were certain demons that he, they couldn't exercise, so he said, well, that particular demon, right, because Yahweh Shai knows all the demons. Yeah. <laughs> that particular, right, he does. Yeah, he does. That particular demon, and all the demons know him. Yeah. And guess what? What do you think that the demons call you, the Lord? They don't call him Christ, okay? The only demon that I know that calls uh, Yahweh Shai Christ is that is a black demon, snake-like demon that wears purple all the goddamn time. Mr. Nate. I got the scripture. Matthew 17. Okay, you do. Matthew 17 and uh, 
Matthew 17 and uh, beginning at uh, the 14 verse to get the whole story. And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is a lunatic okay, bring it up, bring it up. and so vexed. For oftentimes he falleth into the fire and oft into the water. So this son had, uh, he had demons uh, on him. He had a demon, uh, what's the word, tormenting him, or demons. Is that the demon um, uh, legion? No. Legion, legion was, uh, there was 7,000 demons. The word legion means a military force of anywhere from, if you look it up, of anywhere from uh, five to 7,000. So this was a, a, a multi-demon. There was five, at least 5,000 demons on this man, okay? And I brought him to thy disciples and they could not cure him. Then Yahushua answered said, and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Yahushua rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Yahushua apart and said, Why could we not cast him out? And Yahushua said unto them, because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Howbeit this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. You heard that? Now go from there to uh, Matthew's uh, 10, and start from uh, 6. Matthew chapter 10, verse 6. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Y'all are the Israelites, right? The, the audience is Israelites. Go ahead. And as you go, preach. And as you go, preach, say, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. What does that mean? That means the kingdom's coming soon. Don't be saying, well, we don't know when the kingdom... All you got to do is look, the kingdom's coming soon. When is the kingdom coming? The kingdom's coming soon. Go ahead. It says, um, heal the sick, cleanse the leper, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely... It says cast out devils, right? Go ahead. It says, freely ye have received, freely give. Provide neither gold nor silver, no brass in your purse. Now no. you know what that meant? That meant when the disciples or the apostles go out there and teach, the people that listen are supposed to take care of them. Read it again. It says, um, <laughs> provide neither. Provide neither gold nor silver. What's gold and silver? Money. Oh no, brother, the tights, the shoulder, the bullock, this, wheat. Well, uh, how many niggas own a goddamn farm? Because if you did, you send it, man. All right? Go ahead. Provide neither gold nor silver, nor brass in your purses, nor script for your journey, neither two, neither two coats. And the script is your wallet. Go ahead. It says neither two coats, neither shoes, nor, nor, nor yet stuff. For the workman is worthy of his meat. For the workman is worthy of his meat, of his hire. Yeah. What work are we doing? We teaching the word to you. Yeah, treading out the corn. That's right. But these guys that make videos, it's foolishness to give tights. Mm. It's fool. No, you got to get a 501c3. Where's that in the scripture, man? Well, you guys look at your fringes, right? These fringes are for what? What's the fringe in the border, the border of blue? I'm asking y'all by a show of hands. Why do we wear the fringes in the border of blue? <laughs> I want to see some more hands up. I want to hold them up high. Put them up. I, uh, what does it mean? It's the law. It's the law. It's the law? It's the law. You got to give me a little bit deep. You got to go deep. 
It is a law, but what, 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 what is it? Why does most I like this? What, what, what it isn't a law, but what, what is, what is it supposed to do? What does it represent? It represents the 613 laws. Uh, the that's that's closer, but I, you're not close enough. It's to remember the law, so you won't forget. Did you hear that? When you look at the fringes, it says, when you look upon any fringes, then you remember the law. You were right, but you, you had to go deeper. Not just realize, well, that, yeah, there's a law. The most I said, but that's how Nate said, he'll see somebody, where your fringes at? Yeah. Well, you come up to me and said, I said, where, I said why are you lining yourself up? <laughs> because it says, when you look at your fringe, it's supposed to remind you to keep the law. Oh, except for lining yourself up. No, because the most I want us to be trimmed. The prophets used to trim. They used to get trimmed. They used to get lined up. So that's the law. You got to get trimmed up. What about honoring the name of the Lord and the Son? That's the law. It says honor the name of the Heavenly Father and the Son. That's why Yahweh Bashem Yahusha is going to destroy Nick. He's going to destroy him, all right? He's a freaking hell. I got pride goes before fall, man. He right. fell up with pride, man. Right. Hey, when he did the bad Passover, he walked through the hotel. Oh, man. <laughs> this motherfucker looked like uh, General uh, Grievous, man. Yeah. He had that cape on. He walked like General Grievous. You know General Grievous from the Star Wars series? Yeah. The guy that had the two. He had the, I think he had like three swords or something. Hey, he walked all. You had that Lahab, Lahab moment, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Camera, he said, look, yeah, brother, yeah. just film me while I, as I walk through the hotel. They didn't walk this way. <laughs> walk through the kitchen. This guy is full of himself, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's full of his goddamn self. Go ahead, Art. Uh, this is the book of James 1 and, 1 and 4 and 5. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. There's another perfect. It's supposed to be perfect in the scriptures. Scripture. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Heavenly Father. How do you do that? <laughs> By prayer, man. By prayer. So outside the Our Father prayer, you can pray for wisdom. You can pray for more faith, more integrity. You know? You pray for, for things that are of substance. You know? You got the prayer of Manasseh. Yeah, you prayer got a Manasseh. lot of prayers, man. Yeah. Oh, you got the prayer of King Solomon and our first Kings of 8 chapter. Oh, that. And in that prayer, and Nate always quotes that, go to that prayer, and it says in that prayer, call on the most high's name. Yeah. You got the, the, the prayer that, uh, that, uh, uh, that was uh, Miriam prayed. It's called the Song of Moses, which represents deliverance. And that, by the way, that the, the passage, the Lord is uh, a man of war, that came out of that prayer. As you read, the, that's the third verse. You jump up to the first verse, that's uh, Exodus 15. Yeah, Exodus 15. The whole chapter. Yeah. yeah, the whole chapter. Yeah. And it was women that said the prayers. Women and those re women represent us today, man. That's it. Uh, reading again, James 1 and 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Heavenly Father that giveth to all men, that means all men of the elect, liberally and upbraideth not. You know what it means, upbraideth not? How many brothers don't know what it means? Okay, upbraid means the Heavenly Father ain't gonna talk bad about you behind your back. In other words, he ain't, he ain't gonna, nah, I ain't giving, you know? Like a braid, a person that upbraids somebody is a person that talks bad about him behind his back. When you look up the word, upbraid. So the Heavenly Father ain't gonna do that, you know? Especially to his elect. If his elect pray for more wisdom, they don't get it. They don't get what they want, you know? Simply because they're the elect. Uh, let him ask of the Heavenly Father that giveth to all men liberally. Liberally means freely. Okay? And upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, not, 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 nothing wavereth. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. Go back to Nate. They pray, I need money for my family, I'm getting a family. And after he says that prayer, they'll say a prayer.